gotta happen now. Please, yes. Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Call of Duty Mobile. The update is finally here. It was a few hours late. I read on the social medias, a lot of people were pretty mad. But hey, shizzle happens, that's the word on the street. So today we're gonna take a quick look at the update. I will be buying some COD points because we have a purchase event. And I will be opening some crates today, guys. There's a new zombies crate and I'll be looking for a brand new weapon today. Let's start with a quick tour. First of all, two major changes. Zombies are here. Finally, zombies arrived. So you can now click on the zombies mode uh, on the main menu. And you can see on the top left, you have rewards for playing zombies. And the rewards are limited every day. It's going to reset every night. So you cannot just grind zombies all day and get infinite shards or infinite rewards. You have three sets of rewards per day. And I think it's uh, whether you play normal raid or hardcore raid, it's still only three, but uh, if you play survival, I think it's three more. So probably you can play survival three times and raids three times. We'll have to confirm that later. I didn't play yet because uh, if I choose uh, survival, you still see on the top left, three out of three rewards remaining. Now I will play my very first zombie game a bit later today on stream. I wanted to wait and play live. So I'm gonna pass on that for now, but just saying guys, you can check the rewards. And if you play normal raid, you can only get rare items, no epics. So you can either get lucky and get a full skin or you will get skin shards and you have to collect them to get your reward. But if you play hardcore, now you have a chance at purple items. So there's a skin, there's a gun and there's also a melee weapon. So uh, of course, Tank Dempsey is finally here. It was leaked before the update. It was not a rumor. It was really going to happen so we'll definitely go for that one this season now if you play survival it's gonna be the same rewards as hardcore raid now just a tip guys before you go and play your first zombie game make sure you go in the options and click on zombies tab because you'll have to go and re-customize your layout because you can have some different layout for multiplayer battle royale and zombies if you forget to go there and you go play zombies your layout will be a mess now second major change in the update and i'm really happy about that one is the clan update click on the clan and you'll see your clan we now have clan task and it looks like it's gonna refresh every day i don't know if it's gonna be every day or if we'll have also weekly challenges but like today i had to do smg kills and i did it and you see your personal contribution is capped so i had to get 12 kills with smgs today but all the members of my clan also had to do it so the more members are active the better the reward and you only have one day to complete it so as you can see there's a progression bar at the bottom and the more your clan will play the better the reward so we will get 65 credits today and when it's capped you can now claim your reward. I thought it was 65 total, but it's 65 plus 33 plus 20. So it's over a hundred uh, free credits. You'll take it, especially if it's every day. Now, another really cool feature is you now see your clan members activity. So if you check all the members in the clan, you see their weekly activity uh, is the contribution to the clan level. And you also see the season contribution. So it's going to be easier now to see what members are active and the members that are inactive in the clan. So you'll be able to fix weekly goals. Let's say I, I ask my clan members to contribute like 300 points every week and it's going to help leveling up the clan. If you don't know how clans work, uh, if you play a battle royale or a multiplayer, it gives six points to the clan and everything you do every day will contribute to leveling up the clan. All right, let's go with the cool stuff, guys. We're gonna go and buy some COD points. There's a cashback event. If you buy up to 2,400 COD points, well, you're gonna get all these rewards, a backpack, parachute, and a wingsuit. This is the Jack Frost skin uh, for the winter event. The cool reward is the ice axe. You have to buy 2,400. So we're gonna buy some COD points, and then we're gonna open some crates, guys. All right, we're good. I did buy cut points and we get the reward. So probably we'll try that later, but I really like my Karambit knife, so, but uh, probably I'll try it. So here we go. All the rewards are here. 
Now let's check the new stuff guys. First of all, they added a new weapon in the credit shop, but that's the only one. Nothing changed here. It's still the M4 LMG Black Gold, but they added the Royal Crimson Sniper. Guys, when you log in today, you'll have the free Royal Crimson Sniper, but it's only for three days to try it. But then you can purchase it for 20,000 credits. I'm a bit disappointed guys, because I don't like the M21 much and it's a lot of credits. I really wish we can get some really cool stuff for our credits. Now they didn't change anything in the COD point shop, still the same skins, still the same guns, but then the platinum crates, the season crates, and the zombie crates are here, and there's a lot of cool stuff. First of all is the ICR Dark Matter. I know a lot of guys were really hyped for that one. Now I'm gonna pass on that one guys because I don't really want it. I know it's really beautiful but I don't think I will use it that much and I already have that one from the preseason so I will pass on these crates. Now the next one is the season golden crate and I think it's absolutely horrible and I already saw uh, the previews before the update. I said I don't like the medieval skin. I wouldn't spend a dollar on these and plus it's just a PDW. I already have some cool ones so uh, m4 lmg please no i already have the black gold so not worth a dollar to me and i'm not gonna spend on that one now here's the deal guys i'm gonna spend my money today on the zombie crate i want the hg40 lava for the zombie mode and there's a bunch of credits here and a bunch of tokens revive coin tokens but definitely all you want here is the hg40 lava the odds are 1.3 percent so there's a chance you might have to open like 100 crates now i think i have enough for like 90 crates if we open 9 times 10 so we'll go all the way see if we can get the hg40 lava now if i don't get it after 90 crates i might go and buy more cut points because i really want that one so let's see if we can get lucky and start with our first 10 openings let's go lots of revive coins and you see i already have the pistol skin and i already have the pdw skin so it's just gonna be revive tokens for now we're gonna go 1440 again for 10 more so that's 20 crates now nope a lot of credits though 400 and 100 twice and a few more revive tokens let's go again that's gonna be 30 crates Oh, nothing guys, but 500 plus 200 credits. I'll have a lot of credits after that. Let's go 10 more. Nope, not gonna happen guys. Let's go again. I think it's gonna be 50 now. Do it, please. No, a lot of tokens guys. I got a hundred there plus eight a few times. do it please and we get it no no hg40 this time and we're getting close to the end guys i can do it like two more times whoa that's gonna be an expensive skin guys this is my last no i can do one more all right let's go please i don't want to buy more nope and this is gonna be my last one it's gotta happen now please yes I didn't really want to buy more cut points for that, but dude, uh, it was an expensive one. $100 skin, HG40 lava for the zombie mode. Ouch, that hurts. So that's going to be it, guys. Now, if you go on your loadouts, you can click on the zombies tab, and then you can go and select all your weapon skins for the zombie mode. I already did it before the video. So you can go and select any weapon you like, it's some weapons that you'll find in the zombie mode on the walls so you can go and edit you can not only select your skin but you can also choose your attachments for every weapon now you probably notice the hg40 is not in your weapon selection because it's on the other side on the wonder weapon here you can go and select your skin your pistol your melee weapon i might as well go and select the the ice axe for this and then you can select your wonder weapon I'll click the HG40 lava, but I think it's just they will be in the box if you unlock them. They say when a weapon is available, you can pick it up from a mystery box. So when you open mystery box, it's going to be in the rotation. I have a chance to have it. So it's a wonder weapon. It's a special one. 
and cannot wait to try it guys but it's not gonna be now i'm gonna play zombies later on stream today so make sure you guys watch my stream in a few hours turn on your notifications subscribe to the channel and don't miss a thing so that will be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching i'll be back later until then watch my other videos take care